We find a lot of cans and bottles, a lot of clothes, sometimes pop tubes. Lots of like organic litter, like watermelon rinds and orange peels and stuff that we pick up and take out. Lots of cigarette butts. Yeah, hundreds of cigarette butts. Shoes, elastic bands. Wrappers. Everything you could possibly think of. The most annoying is the pistachio shells. Yeah. They're everywhere. My name is Reese. And I'm Neve, and we're with the Ambassador Wild program, which supports sustainable tourism and recreation at some key locations like Silver Springs. Hi, I'm Sadie. We all have special places that we love to discover, special places that we love to share with our friends and family, and special places that we love to travel to. In today's episode of This is Fernie, we are going to highlight a program that was developed in Fernie to help keep some of those special places, well, special, so that we can all enjoy them for generations to come. Join me and I'll show you how. get to spend a lot of time outside in really cool locations like this and it's it feels good to give back to the community and take care of places that we grew up loving and recreating at so it's kind of fun that we get to be here and keep it green and clean. Some of the worst things we definitely see is the human waste on the outhouse floor. There's not always poop on the floor. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, this is our new composting toilet. It was installed at Silver Springs last year in 2022. Yeah, and we, when we come up here twice a week, we check on it, clean it, restock it with toilet paper and hand sanitizer and just make sure everything's going smoothly. Tourism Fernie with the Ambassador Wild Program are moving into helping us manage these destinations so that they remain amazing places and experiences for future generations. They're collecting data to help us make better decisions about managing them. And they're also here to promote safe and sustainable recreation. Camera Project measures um, the, the wildlife and the volume and the movement and, uh, and that was the, one of the main values we were trying to measure one of the main concerns we had was what the impact of people are on, on the wildlife. And where are we right now? Um, we're at Olson's Pit and we're here because it's a popular location to launch your boat on the Elk River. What exactly do you do at a site like this? At the river access sites we collect observational data, conduct light duty maintenance and survey river users. Chatting with the ambassadors made me further realize we should all be ambassadors while in the wild. While choosing to partake in these great experiences and adventures makes me realize how can we do this more responsibly? How can we do this more safely and leave no trace? My name is Dave Richards. I uh, was part of the committee that helped come up with the framework for the sustainability project and the Ambassador Wild program. And I, am, I also help out within uh, setting up some of the infrastructure and, and helping with uh, especially the Heiko's Trail part of the project. I'm Clayton Lamb and I'm a wildlife scientist and I'm supporting Tourism Fernie in the uh, recreation monitoring program. So this is a, a wildlife camera and it's designed to basically capture uh, animals that move in front of it. And so we have it along a trail here and all the animals that go in front of it will be captured and we're trying to understand how wildlife are coexisting on these trails and try to basically make recreation more sustainable in the Elk Valley. I mean, I think that having uh, people out on the landscape that care about wildlife and care about the environmental values and are concerned in um, trying to make uh, tourism sustainable in the valley is important. I mean, people that are kind of working in the inter interface between like us as scientists out on the landscape and people that are promoting tourism in, in the city, you know, there's kind of that gap and it's good to have people out on the landscape that care about it and, and are interested in making it more sustainable. The Ambassador Wild program came out of the um, 
for any sustainable tourism strategy. And as a director and founder of the Elk River Alliance, we were involved. And I really see the Elk River as really an anchor attraction. And it's an amazing amenity that we have through the Elk Valley. And I got involved with the Ambassador Wild Program because we are not a national park. We are not a provincial park. We have to manage these resources ourselves. And if we want to sustain them for current and future generations. What does the future potentially look like for a program like this in Fernie? Well, I think the Ambassador Wild Program is, it's a pilot really for other communities to follow. So what I'm really proud of is our regional government has really leaned into helping to support this. A truly collaborative effort for a truly important need and reason. Let us all become ambassadors for those special places and let all of those growing up become our future ambassadors. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed our latest episode of This is Fernie with Sadie. Be sure to check out all of our other videos.